Hello everyone and welcome to Blender Savage. So today I'm going to show you how to model a cute kawaii panda. And we'll pose them. Alright. Hope everyone's having a good day today. If not, you know, maybe something did ruin your day. But you don't have to let it ruin your day, you know. You don't have control over some of the things that happen to you. But sometimes you can do something about it. Alright, so we're going to get rid of this cube. If we look at this panda here. It looks very round, right? This whole panda was made with UV spheres. Pandas tend to be round. You don't really see any square pandas out there. They're usually smooth. So we're going to get rid of that cube. So X or delete key to get rid of it. There we go. I'm going to bring in the special menu over here. Special tool right here, screencast keys. So you guys can see what keys I'm using. Cool. So I just hit the end key. Brings up the transform properties menu. Bam. All right, I'm going to bring in a UV sphere, so Shift A. Shift A brings up the add menu, mesh, UV sphere. There we go. Don't do icosphere. sphere. That one has triangular faces. We're going to go to UV sphere, it's a smoother sphere. All right, so right now I'm in user perspective. So this is a user view. So make sure your number lock is on on your number pad. I'm hit five for ortho view. There's ortho view, and one for front view. This is the front of the UV sphere. Now, the panda's face is flat. I made the panda's face flat. See, by having a flat face, it'll be easier, it'll be easier for us to add the eyes and nose. So what I'm gonna do is flatten down the face, the front of this UV sphere here. So I made three for right view. All right, so this is the side of it. Now I'm gonna take my UV sphere into edit mode. To go to edit mode, I can go down here to object mode, select edit mode. Or I can hit the tab key on my keyboard, and that toggles between the two views. And while I'm in edit mode, I can do detailed things, like select individual vertices, these little pins on my uh, UV sphere. Whereas in object mode, I can't do that, just the whole object. Selects the whole object when I right-click somewhere. Remember, you got to right-click on something inside the 3D view window to select it. All right, so I'm going to select this vertices right here at the end, in the middle row, the far left. This is the front face of the of the panda. So I made one for front view. See, there it is. This one right here in the center. That's what I selected. And I'm zooming in and out by spinning the mouse wheel. You can also hit the plus sign to zoom in or minus sign to zoom out on the number pad. All right, so back to three for right view. And I want to flatten this down. I want to flatten it, uh, pull it back. If I pull this green arrow, I'm actually going to get a hole in there. That's not what I want, so it's not making it flat, right? So three for right view, control Z undo. So I'm gonna activate a tool called the proportional editing tool. It's down here. It's a little gray button looking thing. I'm gonna left click it, select enable, the blue one. All right, so now it's on. I can also hit the O key on the keyboard. That turns it off and on. See the toggle switch. All right, so now that it's on, I can hit G for grab. See, I got this circle here. I can pull it around. I can pull my mouse left and right. I can spin the wheel on my mouse and make this bigger, make the circle here, the white circle bigger. And that's my area of influence. How much area I'm influencing on the mesh to pull back. So I'm going to make the circle big enough to cover up the uh, the middle half of my UV sphere. And to make it bigger, all you got to do is spin the mouse wheel on your mouse. The third mouse button, just spin it. All right, that's good enough. It covers up the, um, the top and bottom uh, points on the uh, UV sphere. All right, and I'm going to hit Y. That way I can snap this grab to the Y axis. See? I'm going to type in 0 .4, 0 .4, enter. There we go. So the sequence was GY, 0 .4, enter. So if I undo this, Control-Z, let's say you did a, a not so good job. It's not like a good, clean, uh, smooth, flat face. Just hit Control-Z to undo it. If it's not undoing, then just uh, left click or right click. So I'm going to do uh, G, Y. Point four enter. There we go. Also remember to spin the wheel so that white circle is big enough to cover up uh, the middle half of your UV sphere. Let me show you guys again. G for grab. You spin the wheel. See? Make sure your circle covers up the top and bottom. All right. Doesn't have to cover up your whole circle, your whole sphere, because if it does, it'll behave a little differently. G Y. Point four. Oops, hit something wrong here. Control Z. Or G, make this bigger, Y, 0.4, 
See, it's not exactly flat. It just looks kind of weird. So G, make my circle smaller. Cover up the top and half, the top and bottom halves. Top and bottom uh, points there. G, point four. What's going on? Oh, I hit G too many times. G, Y, point four, enter. There we go. Oops. Forgot to change the size of my circle. G, spin mouse wheel, make it smaller. That's good. I already hit G, so now I got to hit Y. Point four, enter. There we go. Now the front of this is flat. And how I can change my view like this is by pushing down the uh, third mouse button, the mouse wheel. So instead of spinning it, just hold it down. Move your mouse left and right. Cool. Now I'm going to take this into object mode, tap key. Tap key for object mode, one for front view. Now I'm going to go over here to the properties panel. This is a properties panel here. Properties panel starts up here, ends down there somewhere. Now I'm going to look for materials. I can't see materials here. So what I can do, I can hover over these uh, buttons here, these tools. If I spin the mouse wheel while I'm top of these, these tools, I can pull out more tools. See? And this material, this is the one I'm looking for. I can also make this wider, which is what I'm going to do. Because um, once I select the tool, I'm going to select materials here. I get a menu for it here. But I want um, more visibility of the menu. So I'm going to hover my mouse over the left side of the uh, that panel there until my cursor becomes a double-sided arrow. There it is. Hold down the left mouse button. And then drag to the left as I hold down the left mouse button. All right, so there's uh, materials already selected it. I left clicked it to select it. I'm hit new, create a new material. And this can be the head of the panda, so I'm going to make it white. So the default color is already kind of white, a little bit off white. So let's uh, make it brighter, let's make it more white. So under the fuse here, I'm going to click inside the white rounded rectangle. And I should get a color wheel. There's my color wheel. I'm not going to click on anything there because um, it's already in the centermost part, which is the whitest part of the color wheel. If I click over here, then I'm going to get a blue color or purple, orange. I don't want any of these other colors. So I'm going to go over here to this vertical bar. It's called the value. If I move it up, I get a brighter color. See, so I can make it more white. Or I can move it all the way down and get a black color. But I'm going to make it white. All the way up. There we go. Click away. And I can name my material here or here. So it's always good to uh, name your name your materials, keep them organized. So I'm going to double click in there, or just one click in there. You can also name it here, but this one you have to double click, or one click in here. And I'm going to just type in white. White, enter, there we go. Now that color is white. There's my UV sphere. It still uh, looks a little rough. Doesn't look exactly smooth. So if I go over here to the tools panel, here's the tools panel on the left. Tools panel on the left. Properties panel on the right. So tools panel over here on the left. I'm going to click on smooth. Left click on smooth. There you go. Just smooth it out. So now i got a smoother surface. All right. One for front view. Now I'm going to make an ear for my panda. And the ears should be up here. So make sure you hit one on the number pad for front view. So you can see the front of your panda. There's a the right view. Here's the front view. I'm going to add an ear up here. Or actually, let's make the face. Uh, let's scale it down along the uh, Z axis. Let's make it like this face over here. See, this face isn't exactly circular. It's a little, um, kind of like an egg shape, kind of like an oval. So let's do that. So I'm at S for scale. That can scale in any direction. But I want to scale along the Z axis, which is up and down. So S and then Z. And I can pull my mouse inward or, or uh, inward or away from my object. I can scale it along the Z axis. So I'm going to pull my mouse inward. There we go. Kind of looks more like a cute kawaii panda head right there. There we go. One for front view. I'm going to add an ear. Now I'll do the ear. I'm going to left click up here. Wherever I left click, the 3D cursor, which is this lightsaber icon, that's where, it will, that's where my next object will appear, wherever my 3D cursor is at. And wherever I left click, that's where my 3D cursor goes. I'm going to left click up here on the upper right hand side from my view. And I'm going to do Shift A, bring up the add menu. And I'm going to select Mesh UV Sphere. There we go. This is going to be an ear. So I'm going to make this one black. Here I am in the uh, Properties panel. It already has the Materials menu activated. So I'm going to go to New. Anytime you create a new material, a new color, you always hit the plus sign and then New. Or else you're going to end up overwriting your old existing color. And once they're created, you can reuse them. So this one I'm going to call black. Type in black in there. Left click and then black. All right. And then down here under the fuse, inside the white round the rectangle, bring up the color wheel. And this time, I'm just going to bring this uh, 
this little dot right here inside the value, inside the vertical bar all the way to the bottom, and I get a black color. Bam, there we go. Now I'm going to hit smooth in the, in the uh, tools panel. There we go, smooth. I want to scale this down. So as a best practice to scale something down, move your mouse away from the object, go towards the edge of your 3D view window. Not, not outside of it, but just towards the, uh, the edge of it. Hit S for scale, and then move your mouse inward towards the object. Cool, there we go. Looks like a good size ear. Uh, the ear is really round, so ears usually tend to be flat. See? So I'm at 3 for right view. I'm going to try to adjust it here. I'll pull it back. And I guess I'll put it around there. All right, now I'm going to scale it down along the Y axis, which is green line. This will flatten my ear. So I'm at S for scale, and then Y for the Y axis. So you should get a green line. It'll snap it to the Y axis. I can scale along the Y axis. Move my mouse inward. S, Y, and then move your mouse towards the object, making a flat ear. And I'm going slow. There we go. It looks like a good ear. One for front view. And I'm just going to tuck it in here. Panda, 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 panda. All right, here we go. I'm going to create a duplicate. I'm going to put it on the other side. So to duplicate, hold on the shift key and then D, then release. I got a duplicate. See, there it is. So shift D and then move your mouse. You should have an object selected, so I had the ear selected. Then I hit Shift and D, made a duplicate of my uh, ear. Uh, let's say you want to move it straight. So that's the X axis. So I'm going to hit the X key. Yeah, just snap this to the X axis. And I haven't left clicked yet or right click. I'm going to left click once I find the position that I want it on. So that looks like a good position there. Left click. There we go. Then it drops it. So to create a duplicate, remember Shift D, move the mouse. You can snap it to an axis by hitting the axis key like uh, Z, X, or Y. So in this situation, in this case, it would be the X. You know, if I move it, it stays on that axis. And then you left click whenever you want to drop it. There you go. I'm going to get rid of that one. X or delete key. There we go. So there's my ears. Now I'm going to make a nose for the panda. So I'm just going to left click here in front of the panda's face. Shift A. Mesh. UV sphere. This whole panel is made with UV spheres. That's a humongous UV sphere. I'm going to go ahead and color it black right now. So I already created the black color. So here I am in the materials menu. All I have to do is click on this materials icon here to the left of new. Just left click that one. Cool. See, there's my other materials that I made. There's white and there's black. So I'm going to select black. There we go. And I'm going to choose smooth from the tools panel. Smooth. There you go. Smooth it out. I'm going to move my mouse away from it. I'm going to scale it down. S for scale. And move my mouse inward. There you go, it looks good. So it kind of looks like a koala, but I want this to be a panda. So now I'm going to scale this one down along the Z axis, similar to how we did with the head. So S and then Z. There we go. Cool, looks more like a panda, panda nose. But from here, uh, from this view, front view, I can't tell if the uh, nose is uh, even touching the head. So I'm in three for right view. Cool, see so he's not even touching the head. Well, actually, yeah, it's inside the head, but the nose looks kind of kind of pointy. I'm going to pull it out. So now I'm going to scale along the Y axis, make it thinner. S, Y. That looks good. I'm going to use a green arrow widget. Hold down the left mouse button and drag it back inward. There we go, one for front view. Cool. I like the look of that better. I make eyes for my panda, see what these eyes look like. Cool and eyes, right eyes. Kind of like the, uh, the panda ears. Look like buttons. Alright, so I'm going to left click right here. That's where I'm bringing my first eye. Shift A, mesh, UV sphere. There it is. Color this one black as well. Materials icon inside the materials menu. To the left of new, black. There we go, for my existing materials. I'm not creating a new color. I'm using the same one, same material. That's why I just went there. I'm not hitting you. All right, so I'm going to smooth over here. There we go. And I'm going to scale this one downward. S for scale, move the mouse inward. Cool, there we go. Once again, I've got this big round eye. Three for right view. I'm going to scale along the Y axis. S and Y. A little flatter. There we go. Use the blue arrow widget, pull it down. Looks good to me there. One for front view. Maybe pull it out some more. 
three for right view. That's not bad. Seven for top view. Oh, see, I don't want that to stick out like that over there. Put it here and then put it out. Make a duplicate, put it on the left side, shift D to duplicate, and then X to snap it to the X axis, move it over to the left. And I did this in front view, so one for front view first, and then make the duplicate there. Cool. And there's the uh, the patches on my panda. A to D select. Cool, there's my panda head. Panda, 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 panda. There we go. One for front view. Now I'm gonna join these all together so they become one object, because right now if I right click on the head, it just it's just the head by itself. It just selects that UV sphere. It doesn't select the, the ears in there. So I want these all to be together. So I'm uh left click the ear, hold on the shift key. Sorry, I right click the ear to select it. Remember you right click to select something in Blender. I right click that ear there, hold on the shift key, right click the other ear, and I'm just holding on the shift key. The shift key is a right click. All these objects to select them. There you go. Now they're all selected. Now I'm gonna join them. Control J, it's gonna join them together. There we go, cool, now they're one object. If I just right click on anything here, it selects the whole thing. All right, so now I'll make uh, the panda body. So I'm gonna left click right below the head here. There we go. And the body is also UV sphere. So shift A, mesh, UV sphere. There we go, use this blue arrow to pull it down. So I can make a panda with the, with the really round tummy, abdomen, or I can make it the X shape. I'm gonna go with egg shape. So I'm gonna scale on the Z axis again. So earlier I scaled along the Z axis to make something look flatter. I'm gonna make it look longer. S and Z. So to scale this uh, sphere into an egg shape, S for scale and then Z to snap it to the Z axis, pull the mouse away from it. S, Z. Here we go, then left click, boom, egg shape. And three for right view. Just my uh, body underneath the uh, panda head. Looks good right there. One for front view. Cool. I'm going to color this white. It's already created the material earlier. So I'm going to click on the materials icon here and select white. There we go. I'm going to smooth that out. Smooth. Hit the decimal key. There we go. Hit the decimal key. I zoom and center into it. Now I'm going to take this to edit mode. So I can color the um, the top part black and the back of the uh, panda black. Tab key for edit mode. There I am in edit mode. I got all these uh, vertices here selected. The entire object is selected. Mid A to deselect all. So remember A uh, deselects all or selects all. Deselect. All right. Down here in the bottom header is vertice selection, edge selection, and face selection. So switch over to face selection. And I'm going to select the top part here of the panda and the bottom part. If I border select here, hit the B key, and then drag across the top, I only get the front of it. See? I didn't get the back. I want to color this whole top part black. Uh, black. So I'm going to hit Z, get the wireframe, and I'm going to hit B for border select, move a mouse in the upper left-hand corner, hold down the left mouse button, and drag across as I hold down the left mouse button. And there we go. I just selected all those top faces there. And you don't have to worry about the head because it's a separate object. As long as you brought in this UV sphere in object mode, it'll be a separate object from the head. And so there we go. And it select these uh, these faces via the box and border select. It just has to cover up the little black squares inside of the faces, and it'll select the face. Now I want to get the back of it. So here I'm in one for front view. If I hit three, I get the right view of it. So I can create a border select and get this back part here. So I'll move my mouse in the lower right-hand corner. Hit the B key. Hold on the left mouse button, and then drag across. There you go. And I just have to get those black squares. And I can add this to the selection. It's already selected. At least the mouse. There we go. So I got the whole back of it selected. Hit the Z key for solid view. Now I want to make this black. So I got to switch over to black. So right now it's white. Assign the white. And hit the plus sign. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a different color. I know I already created black earlier. But in edit mode, I got to hit the plus sign and make a new one. Plus sign. And then new. And I can just select the black material from here. Black, there we go, and then assign. There we go. Tab key for object mode. 
There you go, it's the color of my panda, panda body. One for front view. I'm going to zoom out. All right, so I'm going to start making a, you know what? I need to make a tail. I'll make a tail back here. Three for right view. Left click down there. That way I get the uh, 3D cursor there. Now I'm going to bring in another UV sphere, Shift A, Mesh, UV sphere, UV sphere. There we go. It's my UV sphere. I'm going to select black from right here. I'm in object mode. Black, smooth that out. Cool. That's a huge tail, so I'm going to make it smaller. Move a mouse away from it. S for scale and move the mouse inward. That looks good. I'm trying to adjust that in. Now from here, I can't exactly tell if it's uh, directly on the rear of my uh, panda, so I need to get the back view of it. So to do that, I'm going to hold on the control and hit 1 on the number pad. Cool. And I get the opposite view. That was a really good job. Almost right in the center. Not to be super accurate. You know, it's a little bit off, but that's okay. If you hold on control, hit a number number key, you get the opposite view. So one is front view, right? Control one is back view. Three is right view. Control three is left view. Seven is top view. Control seven is bottom view. See? I can just hit the nine key, and it'll give me the opposite view of whatever view I'm in. So three for right view, and then nine, and I get the left view. See? Cool. All right, so I got the tail there. Now I'm going to make an arm, and then I'm going to use that arm to make a... Another arm and a couple legs. All right, so I'm going to left click here. Start out with the right arm. Sorry, the left arm. Shift A, mesh, UV sphere. There we go, UV sphere. Make that black right here. Black. Smooth it out. Tools panel on the left. Smooth. Cool. And pull this out with the red arrow widget. Hold on the left mouse button and drag. All right, I'm going to scale it down. That's for scale. Cool. I'm going to make this long. So I want to scale it along the x-axis, which is this red line right here. So S and X. Pull the mouse. That looks like a good arm right there. What do you guys think? Control Z, undo, put it back. All right, so I want this right here where the, where the 3D cursor is at. I want that to be my pivot point. Because right now my pivot point is where these arrow widgets are at. And I don't want that to be my pivot point. I want it to be this end here because I'm going to attach it to my panda. And later I'm going to create a parent-child parent bond, parent, bon, parent -child relationship. And I want it to attach here. I want this to be the pivot point. So if I move my arm, it'll move from here and set up right here in the center. So this will be the shoulder. So I already got it there. If not, left click there on that side. Hit 7 key for top view, 3 key for right view. And make sure it directly is on the um, on the left side of, the, of your arm right there. All right. So to change that to my uh, pivot point, I'm going to go over here to set origin, origin to 3D cursor, and it's going to move my uh, my arrow widget to the 3D cursor, which is the lightsaber icon. Boom, there it is. So it just jumped from there to there. All right, so I can right click something else, and I right click back to it. There you go. Every time I right click to it, it'll be on this end right here. I'm just going to adjust it here on the left side of my panda. There we go. He's got an arm, or she's got an arm. Maybe my pen is gender neutral. All right, so here for front view, I can't tell. So I'm at three for right view. Cool. See, it's in, actually in the back. I don't want my pen to have a detached arm in the back. Because here in front view, I can't tell if it's on the panda or behind the panda or in front of the panda. So three for right view. And I'm using this green arrow widget. Hold on the left mouse button and drag it over to a good position for the panda. There we go. One for front view. And now that I got that arranged along the Y axis, I can create duplicates in front view. That'll keep them along that y-axis. So I'm going to do Shift D, and then X. Move my mouse to the left. There you go. I just pull that one out. But the pivot point's on the opposite side. So I'm going to flip it. I'm going to rotate it. R for rotate. 180, enter. For 180 degrees. There you go. I just rotate it over. And there you go. Got my other arm. Here's a panda ready for a, for a hug. But this panda still needs some legs. So I'm going to duplicate this here. Shift D. Let's move it down. And left click right there to drop the leg. Cool. Right click this arm right here. Shift D, move the mouse down. Adjust the leg in. Left click. Cool. There we go. Got my panda with two arms and two legs. A tail. Got ears. Eye patches and a nose. Cool. Got my panda. Now I'm going to attach everything because I want to be able to move the body, move the whole panda. See, I don't want that to happen. Let me undo that. Cool. So I already joined the, all the parts in the head. Now I'm going to attach everything to the body, but 
I want it to be posable, so I'm gonna create a parent-child bond. Because if I do control J to join, everything's gonna be stuck in this position. Because these eyes and ears, these are stuck in position there. All right, so I'm gonna select everything around the body. I'm gonna select the body last. I'm gonna multi-select, and I'm gonna multi-select the, uh, the body last to make that the parent. And everything will be a child to the body. So if you move the body, the children will follow. So I already selected the head there, right click. Hold on the shift key, and as I hold on shift key, I'm gonna right click this arm. Hold on shift key, right click that arm. Hold on the shift key as I right click every body part. I notice I have, I have still not selected the body. I'm gonna select that one last. Let me check out the back. Push in the mouse wheel and move your mouse to the left, or you hit three for right view. There's a tail, hold on the shift key, right click the tail. And now one for front view. Everything selected except for the body. Select the body last to make that the parent. Hold on the shift key, right click the body. There we go. So the body should have a yellow glow while everything else has this red orange glow. All right, now to create a parent child bond, it's control and P, P for parent. Control P, there we go. Set to parent object, bam, all right. I'm gonna right click this arm here. Hit R for rotate, see, waving at you. Hey everyone, subscribe, share, comment. Right click this one here. R for rotate left, move mouse, and left click to drop it. Right click that one there, I'm gonna zoom out. R for rotate, move the mouse, straighten out the leg. And there we go, right click there. R for rotate, move it down, cool. And one in front view, I can only rotate objects uh, objects in this orientation here. So I wanna rotate something like uh, make the head say no. I can right click it, hit R, see I can do that. But let's say I don't want it to move in that direction. I'm gonna right, right click to turn off the tool. Remember if you wanna return something, you can hit Control Z to undo. Or if you right click hit R, you have the tool activated. So then you gotta uh, hit, hit the, you gotta right click to turn off the tool. See? So I hit R, then I move the mouse over left click. It turns off the tool, but it puts it in the new position. Control Z undo, hit R, move the mouse. But while the uh, rotation tool is on, you can right click and it'll turn off the tool and put it back. Because if you left click, it's gonna commit to the new position. There we go, I just right click. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna right click the head, set for top view, and right here I can rotate it out. Look over to the, uh, to its left. See, there we go, A, D, select. Cool, there's my panda. Uh, thank you for watching guys. Uh, you can go and uh, check me out on Amazon. Uh, I already published the book. So published, Blender Activity Book for Beginners. Activity Book for those new to 3D modeling using Blender. You can also pre-order my new book, which, which will have a um, very descriptive, step-by-step, uh, -step, uh, detailed instructions on how to model cute Japanese kawaii animals using Blender. And it's for beginners and hobbyists. So you can pre-order my new book, and it's all going to be cute kawaii animals, those Japanese uh, cute style animals, and um, a scene for them too, so they can all be buddies there, little blender body buddies, the blender squad. All right, guys. So thank you. Have a good day.